Hello and welcome back. As I promised, I'm uploading this video, how to build custom pergola. I did my best to organize all these videos so you can find it much easier. The way you access it, go to my channel, uh, select playlist, and all the host projects are located right in this icon. Uh, feel free to access all those videos. And meanwhile, you're here in this channel, go ahead and subscribe. And this is where it's located, subscription icon. And select the bell so you'll be notified for upcoming video. And select the thumbs up so YouTube uh, suggests this video to others. Thank you so much. Since Florida sun is so strong, we could not really enjoy our back patio. So I start looking for pergolas online, uh, but uh, the cost was so high due to the size of the patio. You know, our patio is about 13 feet wide and 26 uh, feet long. After checking, uh, you know, several online pictures and, and designs, uh, I said, you know what? I can make something like this, you know. I say, if I'm gonna do this, this, we should have some criteria. We set three criterias. One was this design should enhance the house, not take away. The second one was give us enough shades outside so we can enjoy the patio. And the third one was give us enough light inside the house so I couldn't build anything with the top totally closed that, you know, it's uh, block all the sun come inside the house. So finally, we select this design, but it needs six posts due to the size of the, you know, pergola. We hired this company, you know, I could not remove all those concrete. Of course, you know, it's a lot of work. They removed all the concrete. I order the material that I need uh, from Lowe's and uh, due to the COVID, it was pretty hard to find uh, good wood. And so majority of them, as you can see, they had, you know, a problem, an issue, but that's all I could get. Then also here I measured how high I want pergola be. I want to give myself the space. Uh, so if I need to clean the gutter, I'd be able to get to the gutters. I didn't want to build this so low, so not be able to do that. So I'm using this saw to give some type of design, as you see right here. By cutting those in curve, it's going to create a nice design for a pergola. We cut all this board, all of them is painted. As you can see, everything is painted. Cut it to the size, those six by six. These are a 24 foot uh, 10 by 2 and it took took about a day or so to trim all this and then of course paint and wait again turn it around keep painting it uh, this is at least is the first code before we put it up because it's going to be so high off the ground i really don't want to get up there and start painting so anyway, this is how it looks like. Everything is painted. Now I'm going to show you the, where this is going to be installed. They put a new paver for me, but before we put the paver down, uh, we uh, take about six uh, place for the post, uh, pull about three feet deep, about two feet wide, uh, you know, uh, pour concrete. And then we put the paver, of course, over those ready for tomorrow the family come to give me a hand to install this and here I brought some boards back here install all this I'm almost finished with this these are the supports so these are what we're going to install tomorrow and I'm going to be back here I'm going to fill up all this area I'm going to you know, get a good shot of this because it's going to be pretty different tomorrow it's about uh, 13 feet wide and 26 foot long that's why we need six pole anyway as soon as I finish everything else here gonna be installed tomorrow 
Yeah, he asked the family to come over and uh, so to give me a hand. I was so nice of them as they came here and we had a good time, you know, and my son, the daughters and, you know, my brother-in-law with his son came over and they helped me to put this post up and because they're pretty heavy, they're six by six, uh, put them up and also put those uh, board four of them which is 24 foot long is a two by ten there was no way my son and i we could do that ourselves we could figure it out but it was easier to have their help also they like to participate with this uh, building all as a family and they helped me to uh, put you know the support up of course uh, with those as you see Look at that girl go! You beat her. You beat her. Look at this girl go! She's and this one is going to have muscles the size of Popeye when she's done. Yeah. Meanwhile the men are standing around. Yes. <laughs> yes, watch. Men sitting, sitting. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming along. Eric and Scott have left. There's still quite a bit more to do, but you can tell that it's massive. I think she'll be able to hear over the blower. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Javad was blowing a vacuum, a vacuum cleaner <laughs> over Sarah. <laughs> that had nothing to do with the project. Anyway, the boards that are just laying on top, they put up there. Obviously, they still need to be secured and put in place. Are we going to have to repaint this? This um, is amazing. All right, what we did here, we got the 24 foot long, about, uh, you know, two by six. We split it with a table saw. We cut all of them. As you see, there's a bunch of them over there on the ground. And these are, there are so many of them. Now here we paint it. And pretty soon it's going to go up there. You see the, all those corner. Those uh, V shape, all those was cut, hand carved, make it curved, installed. There's one more I need to install. Then this corner, I need to make some more. It's coming along. Hopefully today, all these things painted, we can put it up there. All right, here, uh, those are two by eight and uh, was 16 foot long i'm cutting uh, four pieces for the other corner using this you know saw to cut everything this is the last cuts that i have to do uh, the rest of them they are right here all of them is being cut and then i have to use you know the other saw to cut the curve then install in them so there are three cuts here you know they're all 45 degrees all right this is going to go right there right there see those corner these are the shorter one all right those are the one i painted today i installed one of them it definitely look awesome with this support actually those are support too and here I'm installing the second one. That is how I level it and install it and screw it and in the wood. So let's work on this one. Today what I'm doing is uh, cutting the last a few piece uh, box around, you know, the fan right there. Yeah, as you see, I'm using my saw. Is everything uh, completed? to put the fan and lights on and I did this spot paint yesterday you know I did a lot of touch up you know so uh, all the top is ready so as soon as I install those thing that I just paint here when I install there's four board 
goes around, you know, the light up here. Don't know if you can see it or not. And then I can install the fan and then the light. The last, you know, after those installed, then I need to finish all the post. Anyway, just I want to show you how far we are with this project. It's coming along, folks. It's coming along. All right, the wires already run through the wall. I'm adding, uh, you know, one more switch here. The wires already been installed. So I'm going to hook up a three switch here to run all the electricity outside. I put all the switches inside the house. We used to have one that it control just a single light outside, it's still there to the right. And the middle one now it goes to the fan. I turn, I can control it from here. And the last one to the left, uh, which has a dimmer that is for pergola light that can be dimmed. The wire goes so it's between the wall. Let me take you outside. All right, the switches is right there, other side of the wall, uh, run the wire between the wall. It comes down right here. Then it goes under the paver, on the paver. Then right here, it comes out. Let's zoom in so you can see. It comes out right here. Then I run it right against in the middle post, goes all the way to the top. I'm going to show you from other side now. As you can see, put a box over there at uh, that box, you know, control the light. And the uh, sun is heading here. I don't know if you can see it or not. And then all the lights right installed between, you know, these two posts. I run a straight wire, then hooked up the light directly to it. It goes all over, you know. So just want to show you how the light is set. And uh, so then it goes right between the other one. All right, this is the double door. As you see, all being painted. Same color of the trim around the door. And the give you illusion the door is much bigger of course there's a double door also there's a trim and then painted the same color of the wall it came out pretty nice this is, this is very nice it's happy with the results this is the end result of this arbor a pergola really it came out very nice this is how everything is set currently of course you know this thing want to change again the decoration and just want to show you how I look this time the doors are done everything you finished I'm done with this pergola it's just beautiful all right and the salt or the grass I add some that's going to grow soon so just want to show you that I'm sitting out here this morning it's eight o'clock in the morning sunday and having a cup of coffee here this is right early in the evening you see all the lights are on now we installed the light with some torch here so keep mosquitoes away and it's pretty night that's all set it turns beautiful At this time, I want to take the opportunity and thanks my subscribers uh, with their uplifting comments. You always encourage me to upload more videos since this is just a hobby of mine. Again, I appreciate you. Enjoy all these videos and you all have an awesome day. Take care. If you're interested to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when new video being uploaded.